Let's look at improving our input messages by using the input prompt mechanism and simplify things a little bit. Previously, we used a message to the user in a print statement, and then we put in our input. Well, that's fine, but we have this message up here, and then below, I have to put in my answer. And when I uh, improve this with, by using the uh, input prompt, I can just do it all on a single line. So inside of the parentheses, I'm allowed to put in a message in a string. And so that will be displayed to the user. And we're going to see right here that if I run that now, the prompt message that is inside the parentheses of the input function is displayed. And then I can enter a name in there. And now that is assigned to student name, and I get my name out here. So let's, going forward, just use the input prompt, and that will simplify things, and you keep the prompt with your input statement. Another thing that we really need to look at here is that when we enter in the student name input, we want to know what kind of type that is. And we see that that is a type string. So that is a string because it's a name and we would expect that to be a string. But let's look back at our uh, initial example here with small int. What is that? Well, it's also a string. So no matter what your intent is, whether you want this to be a numeric value or a, a string value, it's always going to be a string. And so this is a digit three, which is the same as three in quotes, so rather than the numeric three. So we would not be able to add together three plus three. So what we've learned is that we can use the input prompt that's built into the input statement by typing inside of the parentheses, and that no matter what, no matter what we type in to the input statement, it's always going to be a string.